We speak. We write. We We do do language. language. Hello, my name is Valjuna Mort. During these months of quarantine, I would like to invite you to travel with me, first to Minsk, and then to another secret, undisclosed location. The poem I'm going to read is called State of Light. It first appeared in Granta, and it's also in my new upcoming book, Music for the Dead and Resurrected. A girl, I sing in the boys' choir. Mine is a city defaced with lights acid among the amphitheaters of boys' mouths. My body, a slice of nothing. Muse with two tongues where wings should be. I begin with music thrown onto meat scales. In the city of acid, light speaks with the thin lips of streets, the thick lips of avenues, strings of light stretched in the doorways of milk and meat shops. Music thrown onto meat scales by saleswomen defaced with light's acid, by saleswomen whose hands are square like picture frames. Our saleswomen, who never see themselves in the canvases of great masters, have the most pictorial lips, arches of finest architecture, triumphant arches built for their language of contempt. They despise our hunger. A child's place is in a choir, not at the table. They despise our money. Children shouldn't touch money. Money is the genitals of our state. We fry light to the screams of light and we live on light in this innocent city defaced with light's acid, build not on bones, not on bones, not on bones, not on bones, not one splinter of human bones in our earth. We can lower our hands into our earth as into water. And my history book is stuffed like sausage. Verily, in your image. I hover in the glory of fish shops, in the chlorine of classrooms. In my stomach is the midnight of bread, the abyss of cognac. As a species, I'm closest to a screw that loosens regularly. In a Rembrandt black bathroom, a girl child, illiterate, washes me. Left to right, my illiterate child crosses and underlines with a soaked sponge what you've made in your image. She wasn't born. She stood up and threw me off her back like the skin of an animal. I know a word for this, but don't ask me. Ask a cow, ask a dog. Verily, except for Rembrandt's right cheek, it is dark. Having picked a handful of vines, Caravaggio honestly paints the dirt under his fingernails. No, honest historians, this dirt does not mean decay. Under the charred nails, orchard, origin and I'm a screw that loosens regularly. In its uncharted dark, women washing each other in the light of their cheeks, in the light of their knees.